वेलकम एवरीबॉडी मबुहाय टुडे इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस टुडे इज द बर्थडे सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ स्वामी त्रिगुना तीतानंद जी तिथि पूजा ऑफ स्वामी त्रिगुना तीतानंद जी वन ऑफ द सिक्सटीन डायरेक्ट डिसाइपल्स ऑफ श्री रामाकृष्ण सो टुडे uh maharaj ji our spiritual guide and our minister in charge swami udaranand ji maharaj will at the start perform the aarti that is the vyaspar services uh so the evening prayer of shri ramakrishna mission which is khandana bhava vandana which is uh, composed and uh, and written by swami vivekananda himself and thereafter Uh, uh, Swami Udayananda Ji will kindly speak on the life and contributions of Swami Trigunathi Tananda Ji, and thereafter we will have two devotional Rama Krishna songs. So the program is like this, and for the benefit of all of you, let us. Uh, I would like to inform that uh, uh, day after tomorrow, that is Sunday. we will have a lecture by the president of pg ramakrishna mission swami bhadreshananda ji he will speak on a very very important topic spiritual practice in modern day life this is at 5:30 pm philippine hong kong singapore time which is 300 pm india time please try to attend this and now Uh, swami uh, udayananda ji will offer the vaspar services mm, please give me 30 seconds to play the song khandana bhava vandana uh, please wait for the same Yeah. 
just ended the arati now i would request our uh, treasurer um, to kindly speak a few words in tagalog welcoming our filipino brothers and sisters so um, uh, please uh, uh, arlin uh, speak a few words in tagalog and english for our filipino brothers and sisters Uh, so that they need, uh, they, they can appreciate and internalize the importance of today's Tithi Puja, that is the birthday celebration of Swami Jagannathi Dananda Ji. Uh, Arlin, mic is yours. Good evening, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, on behalf of all the Filipino people, I would like to thank the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of the Philippines for uh, introducing the. Vedantic philosophy to the heart and mind of the Philippine people. My my thanks to Dr. Nirmalda and Pushpati for your continuous effort and for uh, all the topics that for all the celebration that you've been that we have been uh, uh, hearing. And then maganda gabi rin sa mga kapwa ka Pilipino na nasa FD Live ngayon. Uh, Inaayahan ko po kayo sa birthday celebration po ni Swami um, Trik Nati Tanandaji Maharaj is among um, isa sa mga 16 disciples ni ni Sri Ramakrishna. Patuloy po tayo na makinig sa mga topics na ganito na ito po ay ginawa ng Vedanta para po sa ating mga Pilipino. Para po sa mga Filipino elders at tayo po ay naniniwala po po na marami po tayong mga bagay na mga tututunan kung mananatili po tayong makinig sa ganitong mga topic. Maraming salamat po muli ako si Arlene. Salamat po. Thank you. Thank you very much Arlene for your very useful words introducing the topic to our Filipino brothers and sisters. I would also request uh, uh, Ms. Rosana, our Vice President, Vice President of the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of Philippines to kindly say uh, um, um, uh, a few sentences. Then Maharaj Ji Udharanda Ji will start his lecture on uh, life and contributions of Swami Trigunati Tananda Ji. So Rosana, mic is yours, uh, please. Rosana, you are there? It looks like uh, Mr. Sana is not uh, there now uh, or some technical problem. So I, I would now, I would, uh, it, it seems Rosana is not, Rosana, you are there? It seems Rosana is not there. Now I would request Swami Udharanda Ji to kindly start his uh, discourse on life and contributions of Swami Trigunatitananda Ji 
one of the 16 direct disciples who, and who are head of the San Francisco uh, Vedanta Center in USA when he left his body. So, uh, uh, Swami Udharananda Ji Maharaj, kindly start your discourse. Thank you very much, Nirmala. Thank you very much to all of you for kindly joining today's session. I know it is becoming too and too hectic for one after another session because on Sunday also we have another session. So, uh, to attend for joining, attending all of them is really difficult to understand. But I hope we will get benefit uh, if you listen and join. It will benefit one, all of us in some way or the other. So, today's session I start. I welcome you all on the behalf of the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of Philippines. So, today I start with the chanting. Om Thavakaya Chadharmasya Sarva Dharma Sarupine Avatar Varishthaya Ramakrishna Yate Namaha Jananim Sharadam Devi Ramakrishna Jagar Guru Padapadme Tayo Shritva Pranamami Mohamaha Namashri Akiradvaya Vivekananda Suraya Sarche Sukha Sarupaya Swami Neta Poharine Kalindi Fulla Kamade Madhave Kiradaka Brahmananda Namastokam Satguru Lokanayaka Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Deva Maheshwara Guru Shakshat Param Brahma Tasma Shri Guru Venamaha Om Sanabhattu Sanabhattu Sahadeviyanta Karvavahe Vijasvi Nagade Namattu Mahavetvi Shavahe Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Today we are here to celebrate the Titi Puja on Bhatti of Swami Tribunati Karandaji Maharaj one of the direct disciples of Sri Ramakrishna. You see, even when we started this session, I find many people had difficulty pronouncing his name. You see, not only you, even Swami Vivekananda himself could not pronounce. And then he used to tell, I wonder why did I give you this bigger name? I cannot pronounce it myself. I forget. So I will not call you Tribunati Ramananda anymore. I will call you Tribunati. Uh, that will be easier for me to remember. You see, even Swamiji could not pronounce the one who gave the name for us how difficult it will be. But anyway, his other name was Sharada Prasanna Mitra. So, since Sharada Prasanna was little woman, because it was named after Mother Durga, so people prefer to talk, uh, call him by his monastic name as Trigunathita. Trigunathita is one who is beyond the three gunas. Satya, Raja and Tama. We, are, we have Satya, Raja and Tama, three gunas are there. One who is beyond all these gunas. And if we go through the life of this, we will understand how realistically the name is appropriate. It is very appropriate to his character. That he was beyond all everything. His character was beyond everything. So now we start. First thing that I wanted to relate today is how we come in touch with God. We come in touch to with God mostly when we are suffering for one reason or the other. Very few come to God out of love. But later on, once we come, and then we realize, yes, there are more, many more things to take from God than we had earlier anticipated. So, Sarada Prasanna, earlier as he was known, he came from a very, very affluent family. He was born on 30th January 1865. Two years, he was two years younger to Swami Vivekananda. And he was in a very, very affluent family, very rich. So, and he was very brilliant from his very young age. He was excellent in academic all result. He was a first class boy, attending, ranking first in classes. But he has a fascination for a gold watch. He had a gold watch. In that kind of age, a young boy, a school going boy, nowadays people have this young gold boy, so you will not be surprising they are carrying smartphones. Earlier to imagine, even for us, it was very uh, thing difficult to understand. But even now, a young kid going to school, moving around with a smartphone. Similarly, during that time, the tradition was maybe gold watch. He had a gold watch. And while he was giving the examination, he lost it. So he was very, very upset and very sad because he was very much attached to that watch. 
so he was that time studying in the school which was run by master mohasha mahendranath gupta the writer the one who has written this gospel who has composed one uh, who was the what should i say that uh, uh that exact word i am not able to uh, uh anyway Kathamrita, i will just katham rita katham rita mara katham rita nagar ki bolchilam ami stenographer stenographer he was a stenographer to shri ramakrishna whenever lay devotees of shri ramakrishna will come he was try exact exactly whatever shri ramakrishna was telling he was noting it down and shri ramakrishna used to ask him ke what what did i say did you get it correctly because he was knowing that whatever he is saying people are noting one that master mohasai is noting it down so master mohasai became so much devoted to shri ramakrishna that whenever he is to come across any boy young boy uh, he will catch then in bengali they started calling him cheladhara the boy the man who steals boys cheladhara is a term in bengali means who will steal boy how is stealing He is taking the boy and taking them under the influence of Sri Ramakrishna. He is bringing them to Sri Ramakrishna, and once you come to Sri Ramakrishna, there is no escape. You cannot escape. When such is the bond of love and affection and the influence, there is no escape from there. So uh, when that boy was very upset, Sharada Prasad Nam Mahendra that took the soil and he said, "Okay, I will take you somewhere where you are all this depression and anguish and pain that you are suffering." Uh, uh, experiencing now will go so he took the boy to shri ramakrishna as we had discussed earlier all the disciples of shri ramakrishna came to him around when they were between 18 to 22 years of age young and fresh and vibrant so ready you see the shri ramakrishna say that yeah this is the best age because that is the time you can accept a new philosophy when you can accept something new and you can be Uh, there is a full capacity under the full bloom to grow so he came there thinking that the loss of watch will be somehow he will be able to deal with the loss of his watch golden watch but when he came to shri ramakrishna he found it otherwise because shri ramakrishna never talked about the watch and he could never get the chance to talk about uh, to watch with him but he was talking about the how the materialistic world is superfluous and all we have to reject this world and our the goal of man is god realizations and things like that but uh, uh, some surprisingly somehow uh, sharada prasanna got totally attracted to what shri ramakrishna was telling he forgot all about the watch he came for a watch but he started uh, forgetting everything he started visiting him regularly so now as we were telling ki how shri ramakrishna used to train his disciples so when sharada prasanna came as i told you earlier he he was from a very affluent family very rich family so naturally he had many servants and he was not used to manual work when he came to shri ramakrishna she the first uh, early in the morning first as seeing him shri ramakrishna said you please bring some water and wash my feet he got shocked what he is telling me i am a son of a jamindar i am such a rich man and this fellow this old man is asking me to wash his feet why why should i do something like that and he was very reluctant and uh, uh, he was one he was not to used to any manual work but later on see we will see that this very person who was hesitant in washing the feet of shri ramakrishna shri ramakrishna made him work like a bull and that is why is one of the main teaching you know of uh, swami trigunathita nanji was work like a horse when a horse is supposed to be very hard working and live like a hermit i like this teaching very much now when i work like a horse and live like a hermit the person who was not even ready to do a small job like washing the feet of shri ramakrishna he did so much of work entire life it was full of karma yoga as we go uh, more and more we progress more in this class we will understand uh, in this talk how his total transformation in his life it came that uh, very very hard working he turned out to be one of the most hard working person uh, and all meditation everything he left for the sake of work work so that was he and that is how shri ramakrishna started training him interestingly two of the direct disciples for your information what did not get initiation from shri ramakrishna one was swami yogananda and one was swami trigunathita nanda they got initiation from holy mother 
Why this happened, we do not know because there is no record. Sri Ramakrishna did, did not give any explanation as to why I am ask, asking Holy Mother, to, uh, Divine Mother to give initiation. But the, the initiation was given to Yogananda and Swami Raghunathitananda by Holy Mother. Uh, maybe because of the, some characteristic, this is all divine play, you know, very difficult to understand for us. And there is no point in uh, trying to answer, find an answer and logic in this. Leela, logic cannot be found. Leela is beyond logic. And if you want to find logic, then there is no Leela. So this is the Leela of Sri Ramakrishna that he wanted Tribunadita Nanda and Swami uh, Yogananda to be initiated by Holy Mother. So now coming to this his devotion to Holy Mother. Earlier we had discussed about the devotion of Swami Sharadananda to the Divine Mother. And then to, uh, next, so subsequently we will discuss about Swami Adbhutananda's devotion to Holy Mother. But Swami Tribunathiranandha also was no less. He was greatly devotee of Holy Mother, great, great devotee of her. One example I can tell, uh, one small story. One day Holy Mother uh, wanted to, for cooking some hot chilies. So uh, she said, I want hot chilies for cooking. It should. So Tribunathiranandha was sent. What we usually do when we, in, we are given some assignment, the first shop we get, we buy what is the price of the chili, we will come back. But what did Tribunathiranandha do? He went to, he found there are many shops, like it was a market market as we see in our this uh, uh, wet market as we see in Philippines, it is like a wet market where many chili shops are there. He started tasting chili one by one, one by one, one by one. And why to taste which among this group, which is the hottest? Because Holy Mother wanted the hottest chili, so he is tasting every chili. You know, his tongue was swollen and it was painful, it became red. Because hot chili and tears were flowing from his eyes, but he never left. Ultimately, he found the hottest chili and he purchased that for Holy Mother. And hearing that story, Holy Mother said, you see what a devotion he has. And you think about it, who will do something like this? Uh, very, very, very difficult to define why he did what he did. We never take any situation seriously, but if you want to be uh, successful in spiritual life, Everything we should do with utmost dedication, utmost dedication and sincerity. But we never care, bother about anything. Now, who cares? About, we want to offer fruits to Sri Ramakrishna. The first shop we get, we buy the fruit and give it to whether it is good or not, or what quality is it. We don't even think about it. But see, Sharada Prasanna, as a boy, he was just a young boy that time, uh, just uh, 22. Uh, but how much devotion he had for Holy Mother? This kind of devotion we see continuously in his life. And when he went to America on the order of Swami Vivekananda, from there also he used to say, send money to Holy Mother. That was the thing that he will continuously till the end of his life, he was continuously sending money to Holy Mother. So that is uh, uh, one thing. But uh, when he was coming to Sri Ramakrishna, the family of Swami did not like. His parents did not like, his brothers did not like that Sharada Prasanna should go to Sri Ramakrishna. So what they did, they conducted a sacrificial ceremony where many priests were called, say the tantric money, black magic, so that Sharada Prasanna forgets the Sri Ramakrishna. So, so many people and that time 4000 rupees was spent, 4000 during that time in 18th century, it was a huge amount. They spent that amount to ensure that this boy doesn't go to Sri Ramakrishna. But what happened? After the continuous ceremony of three days, that ceremony continued. You know what the priest said? You know that very powerful ghost has taken over your son. He is very powerful. That Brahmin, that mad Brahmin in Dakshineshwar is so powerful that all our prayers and enchantment is of no use. We cannot do anything to him. He is power. We cannot go beyond his power. So they all surrendered. And this fellow realized that. Uh, they cannot make him leave Sri Ramakrishna. So the boy continued to go. And one of the most saddest thing is when Sri Ramakrishna left his body, father of Sharada Krishna said, ultimately my prayers are answered. Now the old man is dead, my son is free. Now my son will no longer go. But that was not to be because he was destined to be, his destiny was something different. So in spite of all his wild wishes, where parents, they could not control the boy. And boy finally okay. joined the Ramakrishna order in Varanagar and he became part and parcel of the Ramakrishna Sangha. Okay. So this is the story between the uh, 
Shri Yogananda and uh, Shri Ramakrishna and his parents. Now there are things that he was telling. Many people tell me that you have to tell stories. Somebody tell that you have to tell anecdotes. Somebody tells that you have to give inspirational quotes. Somebody should tell me this philosophy. So I am trying to balance whatever is there as much as possible. Some anecdotes, some stories, some some philosophy uh, in one life because in their life is so vivid, so powerful. There are so many stories we can tell. So as he was telling, Triguna Tita. Triguna Tita is beyond all the qualities. We have each person has some predominant qualities. One is sattvic, means he is very calm, he is very polite, and he is uh, very gentle, and he is very I mean, things like that. He is sattvic. Tamas means who is very lazy, who is wildful, and who is vengeful, who doesn't do things properly. Means he is tamasic. And rajasic means who is always kingly uh, and trying to dominate other things like that. So each person has three type of qualities. But Swami Trigunathika Nanda was beyond all this. Trigunathika means he was beyond all the qualities. So one very important trait of his characteristic of his quality was he could stay for many days without eating. Altogether, many days he will eat without eating, and at the same time he will eat for a many person together. So one day his stomach was upset. So Brahmanandji told him, "You go to a doctor. You consult a doctor." So he was sent to Doctor Vipin Chandra Ghosh. Who was cousin of Babu Ram Maharaj? So when he went to Babu Ram Maharaj, the doctor Vipin Chandra Ghosh, since he was brother, was also monk. He used to entertain monks with whatever food. He says, "Swami ji, you have come. What do you want? What do you want to eat?" He says, "Okay, can you arrange for rasagulla? Rasagulla is cheese ball. Can you arrange for me some rasagulla?" So that time, immediately he procured rasagulla for two rupees, and he, for two rupees, two dozen rasagulla came. Rasagulla is cheese ball dipped in sugar syrup. So two dozen rasagulla came, and he immediately ate up the two dozen rasagulla instantly. So Swami Sarvam was there, and then after he ate away everything, then doctor said, "Okay, now you have eaten, Acha, but uh, you did not tell me why did you come to me? Oh, I, I why I came? I came because Raja Maharaj told I had a stomach upset for last three four days. So my Raja Maharaj told that I should consult." If you had a stomach upset, then why did you turn the first bill right in front of me? You should have not eaten. <laughs> yeah, you know this is how. Uh, I also I am not saying that comparing myself with Trigunathi uh, Tanandi, but when suppose some delicacies come when I already have stomach upset, I think in my mind already stomach is already upset. Let it be a little more. I enjoy this. <laughs> bother about other things later on. So the mind tells you, okay, let us enjoy what already it is upset. It cannot do you more harm. What harm is to be done is already done. You <laughs> finish. But this was Trigunathi Tanandi. He ate about twenty-four rasgulla, and doctor was so surprised. Uh, so then that is uh, Baburam Maharaj also used to say that this fellow is peculiar. One day he was offering him milk. Baburam Maharaj, some Premanandji in the Perul matter, and then uh, he drank two gallons of milk. Just like that, and Brahmanandi was shocked. How can you digest all this? That you have eaten two gallons. I was offering milk, and he is taking, taking, taking. He never said stop. That he, this was something remarkable. He could digest any amount of food, and at the same time, for a long time, when he was doing austerities, eating only one banana in a day, he was surviving. But whenever this is there, he was he could eat. So there are so many stories. You know, Matangani Devi, mother of. Swami Premanandji invited three of the brother disciples when she was in Balram Bose house. She invited three of them to come and have a lunch. And naturally, if you know Bengali culture, Bengali culture, we have many delicacies, many courses clubbed together instead of having a different course in a different time. So many items are there. Thirteen, uh, fourteen items minimum will be there, uh, starting from bitter, ending in sweet. So that uh, she had prepared for three. When Sri Guna Tika Nanda came and she asked where are the other, he said they are not there. I have only come. Then she was very upset. I have cooked for, uh, from early morning. I was cooking and now all of them have not come. So it will all go west. He said why it will go west? I am here. I will eat. And he ate all the items that was cooked for three person. Three into thirty. Uh, imagine so many dishes for three people and he ate. And seeing that Matangini, uh, we got shocked. How will you serve? How will you digest everything? How? And then next day she was inquiring, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" Well, mother did not worry. I am okay. This is not, that was nothing for me. Three people, food is nothing. So that was a, a thing. Another interesting incident happened, on which uh, Swami Trigunathakaranji himself used to narrate. He went to a hotel 
where uh, unlimited uh, food was served. Uh, when uh, uh, even uh, India, uh, in the Philippines also there is a culture uh, unlimited rice, unlimited soup in Inas and things like that. In India also unlimited dal and rice is there. So uh, he went to one restaurant and uh, he was going to eat. Then the restaurant owner said, "Sami, this is the amount two uh, two rupees per plate, but you can eat as much as you want." Bolo, Vimalathi Karanji said, "No, no, you do not know my capacity. I will pay I will pay extra now itself because I have more capacity to eat." Bolo, don't worry, whatever you can eat. That shopkeeper was that restaurant owner was confident how much this fellow can eat. So he said, "Okay, you eat as much as you give me only two rupees." So little by little, little by little. He ate up everything. The entire restaurant, whatever food was, because it is a small restaurant, I think whatever food was cooked, he ate everything. And then that hotel owner was shocked. Swami, how could you eat 25? The food was there for at least 25 people. The amount we calculate, we each day we go for 25 people, and he have eaten everything in one go. Uh, then he said, I told you earlier, I will eat more. That is why I was offering you more money. Then he said, No, no, Swami, please forgive me. We don't want any more uh, money from you. My only request to you: never come to my shop again. <laughs> never come to my shop again, and I don't want to do this. So you know, very interesting that he could eat like that. So this reminds me of my childhood days also. In my when I was young boy, I please don't take it wrong way that I am comparing myself. Not nothing. Some incident reminds me of my childhood days also. Whenever we, there is a South Indian food, they call dosa idli, and there is a sambar. So wherever you go, this is a lentil. That sambar is given free. So with dosa, one dosa you can drink as much sambar as you want. So naturally, you can see my body now itself. Imagine how I was when I was young. So uh, when I used to say, one day when I went with my father, that shopkeeper came running. What happened? Why he came running? Well, no, no. We have decided whenever your son will come. The theory of free sambar, we are relinquishing that. No more free sambar for your son. Because he, he takes one dosa and half buckets of sambar, it is a total loss for us. We cannot allow that. And I said, why you are making an exception of me? When you have made a rule, you have to follow. Uh, that was done. Even now, when I go to the chicken and the sambar, they give unlimited rice and soup. When I in Rupay go, they say that the soup, they disappear, you know, because other than we will ask, they cannot say no, because they have written that it is unlimited rice and unlimited soup. So when we have to pick up the seat, For eating because we will take little this dish, why and then more rice and more soup, more rice and more soup. So much so that the boy who is serving they will disappear. They don't want to serve. So imagine Pilgunathi Tanandi when he was there when he went to that hotel. This is and this used to narrate to his disciples when in a very good mood that this is how much I used to eat. So there are so many stories that about his eating habit. But don't mistake that he was only an eater and he did nothing more. He did so many other things. Also, like when it was needed, he for days together he was fasting also, and he could go without food. He could perform lot of austerities. So that is one very interesting thing. Uh, there are so many interesting thing about his eating and non-eating habits. But uh, I just directed two or three incidents here. Another thing is he was very much interested in ghosts. Yeah, wherever he will hear, there is a story that says this is a haunted house. This is haunted place. He will go. So most of the time he did not find. Any ghost? Since you see, human ghost is what a dead soul. Whether it is there or not, we do not authenticate it. But that to see, check he will go to a house to us. If somebody will tell you in that particular house there is a ghost, he will go and check. So one day he went to a house, and then in the middle of the night there was nothing. But suddenly then he saw one big eye, one eye only, and slowly it was becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the whole atmosphere changed. There was so much of Fear. Suddenly, he panicked. How the fear came? Suddenly, he was overcome with lots of fear, and he he could not. He was so shaken with fear that he could not move. Suddenly, he found that one hand came and took took hold of him and brought him out of the house. And then he saw which is the hand that it was Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna already has left his mortal coil. It was his body. So, but he said, Why do you do things like that? Don't run after ghosts. Have you not enough of me? I have given you everything that you needed. I blessed you with every spiritual experience that one can have. Why are you running after the ghost? But that was his nature to run after the uh, ghost. That is also very interesting thing and in, uh, thing about him. So now talk. If I wanted to now some interesting anecdotes, I have said. Now I have to tell you about 
what is his contribution what was the contribution of swami rabindranath tagore most important contribution was he started a bengali journal called udbodhan which is running even now which is a bengali journal we have three four monthly journal one is vedanta kesari in english prabodh bharat also is in english and this is in bengali udbodhan he wanted to spread the message in bengal through a magazine and he wrote a letter to swami vivekananda he yeah, i want to start swami ji was very happy when he said that i want to that he wants a magazine and that time he gave 1000 rupees as an endowment for he said you will use the interest accrued and not spend the capital this waste fund and that you will run the udbodhan but 1000 rupees is not enough to run a publication center and a magazine which is this is a monthly magazine you know how publication is so expensive so uh, what you should do he will compose the magazine himself he will proofread the magazine himself and then he will find the subscriber also contributor of the article also and then he will sell the entire thing was managed single handedly except the printing part machine part all other work that was involved he was doing single handedly day in and day out it is said that he used to work for 20 hours a day he, so that he will not sleep he will do the proofreading while he was standing you see we have seen in the life of many many people like ishwar chandra vidyasagar was there he will tie his tuft of hair with a, on the ceiling so that if he will fall uh, when he will if he is sleeping if drowsiness comes uh, that that it will pull him that is how studied so hard and then he become ishwar chandra vidyasagar similarly to make this magazine run day in and day out sadhanand ji was working and when swami ji came he was very deeply impressed and you see this is real karma yoga what he is doing it is a I mean, totally combination of gyana karma and bhakti everything because he had intense devotion to shri ramakrishna he is as a knowledge intense knowledge and also he is doing karma there so swami ji also was very very impressed by his contribution to this udbodhan but then suddenly turyanand ji became very sick in america so he wanted to come back from america to india so uh, swami vivekananda said you please go in his place you see immediately he agreed because swami ji has said i will go he did not say that i have created this magazine i am so much interested in the i should not go uh, i will not leave but he instantly agreed uh, and he left for um, and unfortunately during that time only swami ji left his body and it was a big big loss for the organization but after his death swami tribunath tananda could have said no i will not go to america anymore because there is nobody else to command but he said no i had agreed and narayan has told me so i will go narayan has told me i will go so he goes to america so there his biggest contribution that we find is that he builds the first hindu temple in the western world in san francisco he builds a hindu temple very very beautiful temple to talk about his contribution and his work in united states of america it will take two three uh, uh, talks together it will take so it is not easy to discuss but the most uh, important contribution is the temple and then and another said with that his prophecy he said if there is a minimum selfishness in creating this temple is there my vested interest is there in creating this temple that this temple will perish and this will not survive and then that word is prophetic words came true because there was a in 1906 when there is a uh, temple there was a uh, earthquake. big earthquake in san francisco that was a very famous earthquake so many uh, houses got fire and so many buildings were destroyed but the temple nothing happened to the temple so that that is is one of the ma- major contribution that is we used to build that temple there and the starting of the magazine of ubodan and then he trained there many and he was a very very successful very very successful his work was very successful among the all the disciple he was also very successful and and the most important reason for his success was his tenacity when he get to uh, capacity to hold on once he decided that i will do this nobody in this world could stop him but he will not give elaborate uh, talk when talks are elaborate is this uh, teaching you know he will talk like uh, like uh, as i said in the beginning live like a hermit but work like a horse that one sentence itself can be you can be explained hours after hours hour after hours how working of a horse means how to live like a hermit and then he says do it now 
one key thing do it now what do you mean think about it he says do it now another is do or die but you will not die so what is that mean so he gave in a small small this this is how he used to teach that do or die you will not die watch and pray if you just think about what he has said slowly slowly if you just put that those two words in your mind and think about it you will realize that this is full of meaning and full of teach that teach it is a very very teaching loaded with wisdom with the teaching loaded with wisdom so now uh, with this few words i try to cover in a little and most of the time i fear that uh, i overshoot the time by many many minutes so nirmal i forgot to have a analysis that what should be the time of our talk now i think it is already what you know that uh, it is perfect if you can want to continue for another 5 minutes no no, uh, no, no, no already okay. it is uh, okay. how much, uh, so i would like uh, to talk because it is unending it there are so okay. many no no it is it came out so well uh, we just wanted to have a small discussion so that people will know otherwise eh? uh, we do not want to elongate the talk any further with this word i will stop it uh, just to give a glimpses we gave a glimpses because Prabhupadanand ji, he has many big stories when he went to Tibet and things like. Prabhupadanand ji used to travel a lot and he traveled to many many places and very very hard journey. Is it climbing twenty thousand feet without a cylinder, oxygen cylinder, any any other, and no shoes, nothing, no mountain shoes, nothing. Traveling along the uh, uh, Tibet, traveling to Tibet and coming back is not a joke. But he has written everything. All the reminiscences are there in his own words. So there is a big book. and where he has written all this uh, reminiscences also so we can read it and discuss as as the day proceeded we uh, later on we can talk about it so i will for now i will stop uh, so thank you very much for being patient to hear my uh, i do not know om shante 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 he hari om tat sat shri ram krishna arpa namasto thank you very much maharaj ji you have presented very very important uh, dimensions of swami tirugunanthanand ji's life some in a humorous way but at the same time they were so instructive and his uh, serious philosophy his great organizational skill his commitment to swami ji and you mentioned that he built the first Hindu temple in the Western world in San Francisco, and one thing uh, is very very important. While building this temple, Swami Trigunathi Tanandhi Ji Maharaj told that this uh, uh, this temple is as much of Hindu as much of Muslim as much of Christian. Even it is a place for Americans to reside. So it is all encompassing. so uh, that's very very uh, uh, interesting and especially the anecdotes that uh, maharaj ji mentioned we are uh, so grateful to him and thank you maharaj ji if uh, uh, in, uh, some of you have observation we have time for one or two observations you are most welcome so you can introduce yourself and give your observation or thoughts so so that uh, our discussion gets enriched and there, thereafter we'll mm, sing some devotional ramakrishna songs uh, so before that uh, you can uh, uh, give your observation or thoughts uh, in a, a brief and precise manner thank you pranam maharaj maharaj pranam मुश्किल सामंजस्य Uh, Maharaj ji talked so well, and lecture went off so well. And Maharaj ji, there is another one. Two, one is there. Two are there, ma'am. हाँ, two are there. Hello, Maharaj. And Maharaj ji told. आज के कुछ छोटे बोलो, Maharaj को बाल लग चिल्ला सुनते. 
त्रिगुणातीतानंद महाराज बिकॉज योगेन महाराज अँड प्रसाद त्रिगुणातीत महाराज बोथ ऑफ देम व्हेरी क्लोज टू मदर अँड दे इज टू सर्व मदर बट वेन स्वामीजी स्वामी विवेकानंद टोल्ड हिम टू गो टू यू एस ए दॅट टाइम ही वॉज इमिजिएटली रेडी टू गो अँड मा शारद माज मदर शी टोल्ड मा शारदा की हाऊ कॅन यू लिव्ह युअर सन सो फार मे बी ही विल नॉट मीट यू अगेन वाय युअर इज सेंडिंग सो फार बट देन मा शारदा सेड की ओ नो बिकॉज स्वामीजी सेड सो ही हॅज टू लिव्ह अँड ही हॅज टू डू हिज वर्क अँड ही नेव्हर केम बॅक अँड नेव्हर मेट मा शारदा अगेन बिकॉज ही डायड इन यू एस ए सो दॅट ॲक्च्युली व्हेरी टच टू मी बिकॉज शी रिअली फेल्ट व्हेरी बॅड शी वॉज व्हेरी क्लोज टू योगेन महाराज अँड त्रिगुणातीत महाराज बट शी कुड नॉट मेट अगेन त्रिगुणातीत महाराज You see another interesting thing about his life is I felt one of the most important thing too, that when the person, he was killed by his own disciple by a bomb. We do not discuss about this, but this disciple was there while he was on Sunday taking Sunday classes, a disciple threw a bomb at him. Why he threw the bomb, we do not know because he died instantly. That person who threw the bomb died and he got very injured, severely injured. So when they were taking him in the gurney on the trolley, he was asking he, what happened to that boy boy. He was not concerned about him, but he was more concerned about the boy who had thrown bomb to him on him. You imagine, even in that time, when he, he was so critically injured, he did not survive. He died after two days. He was also critically injured. But, uh, and the nurse who was treating him said, all my life, that in all my career, I have not seen him, any patient. So, unbecoming money never ever for a moment he complained our pride and pain that was the capacity and like turyanand ji he also had the capacity like fistula operation was there so doctor told you have to take chloroform and we will have to you have to make you unconscious and then we can perform he said no no you do the operation i will take my mind away like turyanand ji did while when carbonkal operation was done he took his mind away similarly then when this bomb was thrown he never complained never complained about that boy condemned that boy why shri ram krishna did not protect me and there is no answer why it did happen because we see in the life of avedanand ji we see in life of swami vivekananda and others that shri ram krishna himself came and saved them like avedanand ji wanted to ride a boat on a ship and uh, thakur instructed don't go because next day the ship sank things like that and there was somebody poisoned wanted to poison swami vivekananda thakur came and said don't drink that drink so so many times they want but why a direct disciple will die like this but that is a story but in our order we do not highlight those things to answer the, our uh, here another question it was decided by our headquarters long when the organization was formed that we will glorify the message not the person so the only persons we will glorify is thakur ma swami ji rest others will become sec- uh, secondary that was also one of the resolution but uh, if we start discussing then it will be a war whether sharada prasanna was better or good or he was a great meditator or kali prasanna because he was called kali tapasvi we will start comparing you know who is better or latu maharaj latu maharaj was a miracle he could not read or write how he became a saint you know next is uh, next kitipuja is swami uh, adbhutanand ji and we requested swami chetanand ji 
to talk because he has written a book from saint to from a shepherd to saintly of sainthood a shepherd boy how he could become a boy servant he came as a servant in the household of balaram boss and he became a saint so that 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 story chetanand ji was supposed to give a lecture but since america and this times are not telling he will record a lecture and give and we will decide how we can incorporate that but the thing is we cannot compare but each disciple was very very unique and many many interesting incidents happened and it is this all this today what i have told you you know how because there is no book here and uh, one of our devotees in manila wants anecdotes and stories like stories and stories so to get story i told vinod maharaj vinod maharaj took picture of god lived with them the direct disciple and then he sent me the book in the night and middle of the night i started uh, reading and then in the morning i came up with the stories you know all these food stories and things like that because i did not have any information on the website on the internet all this information is not the detailed information is not there in you know, pdf format also it is not there so this is how vinod took the picture sent me the book i read the stories and then came so i this our our friend here he keeps on telling me mara tell stories tell stories so it remind me of our training center days you know in training center days one of our swamis he will teach sanskrit sanskrit is a very boring and learning a new language at old age is very very difficult so for people to attend was very difficult so then he said okay you study half an hour and half an hour i will tell story he was a great storyteller so once the story he will start he will make stop it at the moment that next day you want to hear what happened what exactly happened what exactly happened so moment he will come mara we don't want to study you please tell us the story please tell us the story he said first you study uh, then you shabd rup dhat rup tell me shabd rup dhat rup shlokas and bir and then i will tell you the story so anyway that swami has passed away left it it was very interesting but to tell story all the time is not a easy thing you know but uh, but anyway it is interesting i do understand so today i tried study and lecture on a whatever i try to make it more comprehensive at the same time in a capsule format and try i am trying this is a parallel attempt our special thing is going on on the sundays official thing and parallelly i am preparing myself if i survive it is okay but already the number is coming down which shows that i am not doing it okay Uh, when i see somebody leaving and then i see the number less i can understand it is not going no no maharaj ji yeah it talked very well very nice talk and today you can continue today today i try to make it short as well as comprehensive you know how compare and bring out all the points so i try i try uh, his work in america was not discussed he did many commendable work in san francisco and shanti ashrama he found a monastery also nanari also so many things he did he was very very successful no other swami was as successful as he was but it is never mentioned it is never highlighted because that day hiranda was telling why the sacrifice of holy mother or mane swami ji's mother was not highlighted because it is not our tradition to highlight anything else not our gurus also you see our diksha guru who is who is giving us initiation we cannot glorify we say only guru is shri ram krishna but even then now it has disintegrated now it is gitananda jayanti uh, ranganath jayanti jayanti and bhuteshananda jayanti already you see it is happening what our seniors has visualized earlier that is already happening that is why we say that our guru is shri ram krishna alone and no other uh, thing will be but information will be there all information about their lives and message and everything details will be there but it will not be highlighted so that was one thing that is why we do not get Uh, all this life of the direct disciple, only Swami Ji's life is highlighted. But even then, you see, we are not. Nobody talks about the life of Swami Ji. We are talking about the teachings of Swami Ji, teachings of Swami Vivekananda, the message that he gave. So similarly, uh, as Thakur's teaching, Sri Ram Swami Ji gave so many lectures that it came nine, eleven volumes are there. But nothing, only two lectures on Ram Krishna, my master. Two lectures only he where he mentions Sri Ram Krishna's name. and no mention of holy mother but does it mean that he did not have love for holy mother he had lot of love for holy mother so anyway anyway so it has become an informal session in informal session i think our nirmanda wants to continue with the talk now we can do this one point uh, that i want okay yes, uh, sirish it wants to say something sirish yeah. okay yeah coincidence or we can say Hello, can you hear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We can say it is a coincidence or it is planned already. If you look at uh, uh, Jignatita Nanda's uh, Maharaj's 
actually mean it is sarada prasanna mitra okay and interestingly the initiation was done by mother because it is it is like sarada prasanna because he has to please mother and he gets uh, he gets you know initiation from the mother that is very interesting to know this is a new explanation to us <laughs> to this whole yeah, yeah. yeah. your your explanation because this is <laughs> no i i was sarada is sarada they say the why he was named sarada because they prayed to mother durga and it was a, because earlier they used to play for a son always na i said when the son was born due to mother's one of the main name of mother durga is sarada That, that is why Sharada and Prasanna is added, but I'm not like that, na. So main was Sharada, but anyway, ha, it is coincident that that is why he got initiated. Or two people, Shri Ram Krishna did not initiate. One is Yogananda, and another is Sharada Prasanna. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Just one comment, Maharaj. Nirmal Uti or Parmishan. It is, it is. Maharaj always says somebody is requesting me for more stories. It is. This is myself. <laughs> Maharaj just not telling the name. It is here, no. But Maharaj, today one part of the lecture I did not like. In the sense, I am from India, you know. I am also very fond of dosa. The moment you started talking about dosa, rest of the lecture I was dreaming about dosa and sambar only. I could not focus on your talk. This is not done. So what can I do? I was all throughout the lecture I was only dreaming about masala dosa, uttapam, and plain dosa. Idli and this is this is, I must um, thought I log, must lodge a formal complaint to you. Okay, okay. okay. But after, you know, after going home, after going home, Kasturi will make for you sure. So no, that is the that is the problem. She is not here. I before the lecture I told Maharaj I am tomorrow is Saraswati Puja. No one will make luchi for me. And Maharaj started talking about dosa. It's a serious offense. No, I, I should not have quoted myself, but just an example, you know. So the unlimited one, because in Philippines also this unlimited thing is there. Everywhere you will see unlimited rice, unlimited food, things like that, na. No? But if Sharada Nandi could have gone there, we can imagine what what would have been the situation. Any one is serious, Lord Maharaj. Um, uh, you have no time. You could not elaborate on. But there is many, many, many discussion on his struggle, his suffering, the way he worked. To make that Udbodan magazine a success. No, I, I passed it. I told he was compositor because Swami ji gave only one thousand rupees and another uh, one Chakravarti he gave two to one thousand two thousand peso was the basic fund for the starting the magazine. And you know, you know, if a magazine compositor is necessary and then uh, uh, so many printing printers and then distribution is there, collecting the article is there, proofreading is there. So he will do everything entirely single handedly. That is why. in a short i wanted to touch everything that itself was a big struggle big struggle and that swami ji was so impressed seeing him struggling like this and working so hard then he used to tell his disciple look if you really want to know the example of a karma yogi this is an example of a karma yogi he left everything all other disciples only wanted to meditate and do no work and sit but he was working and think bar composing the magazine then doing the proof reading then getting it printed and then distributing the magazine collecting the money and and he will never use tram or things like that any convenience because that would cost money for kilometers after kilometers he will draw up very hard work very very hard work in that connection moras let that me tell you another story ah, yes the boshumuti newspaper Ah, yes. Owner, owner Upen Mukherjee was the great follower of Ramakrishna Dev, hmm. and Tiguna then, the Maharaj, Nand Maharaj, as Maharaj said, he walk, 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 walk. Tiguna, Tita, Nand. Tiguna, Tita, Nand. Tiguna, Tita, Nand. Walk, and Upen, Upen Babu will ask, "Have you eaten something?" He hmm. will not take any. Uh, he will walk up to Bosumuti House. Yes, yes, yes. Then Upen Babu will give him some food. He says, "Take some food." Then you start your work. This is how he struggled and worked so hard. hard. to that make the magazine is successful if you discuss earlier when i was telling they tell that your talk is too long it is one more than one hour you have to make it short and then uh, like that you know slowly coming to that because his work in america will require one whole class can be taken on his work in america one whole class can be taken on his work for udbodan because he worked as you were telling about basumati it was a press and you know if you know geographically kolkata you know how long it is from udbodan mm -hmm. udbodan means that bag bazar to that basumati press it was a long distance uh, so going there and not only that he traveled everyone walking never used any 
convenience because that will require money no food and then sometimes when direct disciples were sick he will serve them also and then at same times uh, working for holy mother also looking after holy mother also so many multitasking not only working for both and multitasking but never ever he complained about anything never ever he complained and when he was very successful when magazine was uh, coming out nicely uh, swami ji said now leave everything and go to america and he did not know where to go to america what to do what work will be there do turyanand ji was there but suddenly without any notice he is asked and then swami ji passed away after giving this order but since the leader has said that he should do he went and he was very successful and he had no intention of coming back you see and uh, so it is there but how long can we discuss but not discussion is going longer than the original talk is uh, anyway pranam uh, maharaj upasthit uh, sakal ke pranam ajker onushthan khub bhal laglo ami অনেক সমৃদ্ধ হলাম মহারাজ খুব সুন্দর ভাবে স্মৃতিচারণ করলেন এবং আমার প্রসঙ্গত একটি কথা মনে পড়ছে স্বামীজি বলছেন এক জায়গায় যে এদের অর্থাৎ তার গুরু ভাইরা যখন যে কার্যক্ষেত্রে অবতীর্ণ হবে তখন তার উদ্যম দেখে লোকে অবাক হবে এদের কাছে কাজ কি করে করতে হয় তা শেখ স্বামী শিষ্য সংবাদে তিনি বলছেন এই দেখ আমার আদেশ পালন করতে করতে ত্রিগুণাতির সাধন ভজন ধ্যান ধারণা ছেড়ে দিয়ে কাজে নেমেছে এ কি কম স্যাক্রিফাইস এর কথা আমার প্রতি কতটা ভালোবাসা থেকে কর্মপ্রবৃত্তি এসেছে বল দেখি সাকসেস করে তবে ছাড়বে তার প্রতি অকুণ্ঠ স্নেহাশীর্বাদ বর্ষণ করে স্বামীজি বলেছিলেন তোরা প্রত্যেকে যতটা পারিস তাকে সাহায্য করিস অত ঠাকুরের কাজই করা হবে এবং বাস্তবিক ত্রিগুণানিতানন্দের যে যে হার দোয়ার যেটা আমাদের বিশেষ করে যুব সমাজ আমরা যেই বয়স থেকে রয়েছি আমাদের কাছে খুবই এটা অনুপ্রাণিত করে আমাদেরকে প্রতিটা মুহূর্তে যাতে আমরা কিছুটা হলেও কর্মক্ষেত্রে অবতীর্ণ হতে পারি এবং আমাদের আধ্যাত্মিক জীবনযাপনের সঙ্গে সঙ্গে যেগুলো আমাদের সমাজের প্রতি দায়বদ্ধতা প্রত্যেকের প্রতি যে কর্তব্যটা সেটাও যেন করতে পারি সবটাই ঠাকুরের সেবা হিসেবে তো খুব ভালো লাগলো আজকের অনুষ্ঠান আমি পুনরায় মহারাজ সহ গুরুজন যারা আছেন আমার প্রণাম জানাই খুব ভালো আচ্ছা আরেকজন রঞ্জনা ভট্টাচার্য আছে একটুখানি অনলাইন আসলে ভালো হয় না রঞ্জনা ভট্টাচার্য আরেকজন যে আছেন আপনি আছেন কি হ্যাঁ আছি আছি আচ্ছা দেখি চেহারাটা দেখি ওখানে দেখি খুব খুব ইউ স্পোক ভেরি ওয়েল ইউ স্পোক না না ইউ স্পোক ইউ স্পোক আই আই গিভিং ইউ আউটপুট হোয়াটএভার ইউ আর টেলিং মি আই আই পাস ইট অন টু নির্মল দা সো बिकॉज অফ ইউ সাজেস্টেড না ইট শুড বি ভেরি লেস অ্যাটেনশন স্প্যান ইজ ভেরি টাইম সো আই এম ট্রাইং টু মেক ইট মোর এন্ড মোর কমপ্রিহেনসিভ এট দ্য সেম টাইম টাচ মোস্ট অফ ইট সো হাউ ফার আই এম সাকসেসফুল টুডে ইউ আর ভেরি সাকসেসফুল ইউ আর ভেরি সাকসেসফুল মহারাজ এন্ড আই এম এক্সট্রিমলি প্রাউড অফ uh i'm extremely proud of you thank you so thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so very proud uh, very mm-hmm. proud very proud of you nirmala yes Nirmala? yes yes please this is my sister, this is my yes sister. i i could understand yes, uh, namaskar yes. namaskar yes, uh, i pay yes. my respect to you namaskar Uh-huh. Yes, actually I'm a, I am a teach in a college over here, yes, so yes. we can make out when students get bored, uh, 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 they, even across the computer, they can, uh, we can make out. So I had asked Vishwajit Maharaj that you know don't uh, drag on for very long, people's attention spans are very limited. I am the one who told him that. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Arlene, she's my sister, Arlene. Maharaj, yes. it is very yes. clear. No one will be I am meeting you. No one will be I am so proud of you. you. Only sister can say I am so proud of you. It is very yes. clear. Yes. He, I am yes. very. We are very proud of him. Yes. All of us, yes. brothers and sisters, we are very proud of him. Yes. And uh, uh, he has done great work. He yes. has, yes. and you know, we feel that for the whole family, uh, we feel yes. redeemed because he has joined. the order and he has done what none of us could ha- had the courage to do maharaj spoke to me people. many times about you ranjana ji namaskar yes namaskar many times namaskar. he spoke to me about you so uh, yes. the moment you said we are proud of you so it shows the affection and love for a brother thank you yes thank yes. You yes yes thank you thank you thank you so much ranjana ji and i would like to summarize the speaker before who observed she, uh, how uh, she explained how tenacious uh, swami triguna uh, triguna tananda ji was she spoke in bengali and she said uh, uh, that 
Swami ji gave all blessings and Swami ji appealed to everybody, please cooperate with Tiguna Titananda ji because he is such a hard working and sincere person. So I thought I, I'll give the summary. Now we'll have a very, very, uh, very, very uh, nice uh, uh, devotional song. Uh, you uh, one in Hindi, other one, of course, Ram Krishna Sharanam. You can uh, sing, but uh, first is the Hindi song uh, on Sri Ramakrishna. Uh, very beautiful song. Uh, please, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Shri Rama Krishna Mangal Kari Shri Rama Krishna Mangal Kari Shri Rama Krishna Mangal Kari Shri Rama Krishna Mangal Kari
What a beautiful song in praise of Sri Ramakrishna, who is to be worshipped by Shardama and who is to be served by Swami Vivekananda. This is the soul of the song. And now we will play a very, very important number and uh, sung by an equally well-known monk of the Ramakrishna order and who has such a uh, sweet voice, such a melodious voice, Swami Sarvagananda Ji. And you can sing the song by keep your, keeping yourself muted. That is Ramakrishna Sharanam, Ramakrishna Sharanam, Ramakrishna Sharanam. So uh, I play the song. Uh, uh, you will enjoy this song uh, very much. Ramakrishna Sharanam. Ram Krishna Sharanam Sharanam Ram Krishna Sharanam Ram Krishna Sharanam Thank you. 
What a beautiful song by Swami Sarvagananda Maharaj Ji. With this beautiful song, we have come to the conclusion of today's program. I would now request our friend Hiranya Mukhopadhyay to kindly give a vote of thanks to uh, Swami Udaranda Ji and all the participants who have spared their weekday today. In spite of their office, they, uh, uh, they presented themselves, they participated. And I would uh, take this opportunity to once again remind you that there is a lecture by uh, the president of uh, Ramakrishna Mission Fiji, Swami Bhadreshananda Ji Maharaj, uh, on Sunday, which is 5.30 p.m. Philippine, Hong Kong, Singapore time, which is 3.00 p.m. India time. Now I would uh, request Hiranya Mukhopadhyay to kindly give a vote of thanks. Hiranya. Yeah, Maharaj Pranam, thank you for giving us a wonderful evening. Very highly enjoyable evening, Maharaj. Uh, we really enjoyed. So thank you on behalf of all the disciples, Maharaj. Pranam, Maharaj. So please note that the uh, program on Sunday, is, uh, uh, that is 6 February, is at uh, is at 5:30 p.m. Philippine Hong Kong Singapore time, 3:00 p.m. coming Sunday. February 6. So please try to join. And as I uh, as we mentioned, the topic is very, very interesting. That is spiritual practice in modern day lives. So please do try to join. And we can uh, be here for, uh, let me first uh, end the recording. And uh, you can informally meet for five minutes to chit chat. But before that, please give me 30 seconds to end the recording. Thank you very much. And thank you once again for participating in today's meeting. And thank you once again, Profusely Maharaj Ji, for your beautiful and very instructive lecture. Thank you. Puna Maharaj. So we are back. So we have about four to five minutes of time if you want to say something. Thank you, Maharaj, for the nice lecture. Thank you so much, Maharaj. This is only a tip of the iceberg as you have written. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just the idea, idea, you know. It's a glimpse of the story of Swami Maharaj. Yes, yes, it is because Say when he said you go to America, unquestioned obedience, and then you can give a big lecture on what is unquestioned obedience, how one should obey a leader, things like that. You know, we can yes. pick up one one topic and and then we can go on and on and on and on. Swami Vivekananda also used to tell that each sentence of Sri Ramakrishna I can convert into a book. I can talk so much that you can print a book on that. So is the life of direct disciples. See, once you start writing, then there will be so many things to discover. So many things. So it is just a beginning. Just a beginning. Only tip. Only a small. You are correct. We are giving a small tip, just like that. Uh, so Later on, we shall see. So uh, I will be the last person to leave. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, everybody. We are six people uh, now. So we'll see you on Sunday. You will come on Sunday early. Yes, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. I'll be coming. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll go. Thank you. See you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Bye. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Attorney Jana. Thank you, Nirmal. Thank you. Thank you, Arlene. Thank you, Jana. Bye. Thank you, Hiranya. Bye, Arlene. Bye. Bye, Arlene. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Attorney Jana. Bye, bye.
কে মেয়েটাকে থাকে বলি হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ এই स्टार्ट आ रहा है उसको एंड नहीं हो रहा है नहीं वो रिकॉर्डिंग ही नहीं हो हां स्टॉप